What's up everybody, it's Steven here at Tampa Harley Davidson. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean and sanitize your motorcycle as well as your riding gear using some household products as well as some Harley products that we have here in the house. Today, I'm gonna to be cleaning this 2020 Roguelite Standard in the industrial gray denim. I'll be using the Harley Quick Wash, so this is good on your denim paint as well as all Harley surfaces. And I'll be using the LCD screen wipe as you can see, we have the seven inch LCD screen, so this is perfect for it. You could also use this on it. It's a great all around tool. So when you're using your quick wash, I highly recommend using a microfiber cloth. This is gonna make sure it's not abrasive on your motorcycle. And I always recommend you use the spray setting versus the stream. It's gonna make sure you get maximum coverage on this. When you spray your motorcycle down, you wanna spray generously. All right, so now you can see everything's been applied generously. You wanna leave it for 30 seconds, let the product do its job. So you wanna make sure you do this in the shade, whether it's in the shade of a tree, your garage, something like that. That way this doesn't dry up as you're doing it. Grab that microfiber cloth and just give everything a good scrub down. So as you can see, I'm pretty much wiping everything down because as we apply generously, there's some overspray and some dripping, which is fine because this product, remember, is safe on all your surfaces on the motorcycle, and that includes your paint. So now we've done our quick wash, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Harley LCD screen wipe. This is a one-time use product, so you're just gonna tear it open like that. And then you're just gonna unfold it. This is a great tool for using your touchscreen products. Wipe it down thoroughly and then let it air dry. So just like we did with our hand controls, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna use our quick wash and our microfiber cloth and we're gonna get the saddlebag lids, the one touch latches, as well as our seats and our passenger backrest. This product is safe on all those things. So we're gonna apply generously just like we did before. We're gonna give it that 30 seconds so the product can do its job and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna wipe it down with that microfiber cloth. Keep in mind, if you accidentally drop your microfiber cloth like I have a tendency to do, you might wanna consider replacing it so that you don't get any extra debris on this, especially if you're touching your painted surfaces so you don't accidentally scratch your bags. All right guys, so now that our bike has been sanitized, we're gonna move on to our riding gear. So today I'm going to sanitize my helmet inside and out, as well as my riding gloves. You can also do this with your jackets. Be mindful of the material that your jackets and your helmets and your riding gear are made of. Uh, so that you use the correct products. So I'm gonna start with my helmet. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out all the liners. I like to use my gloves to put down, put my helmet down on just to protect it. So all the Harley helmets will be equipped with the removable liners and they all will have the snap technology. So now you can see my helmet's completely empty. I have all the liners and the cheek pads out. This helmet is a, uh, is a matte finish, so you wanna be careful, especially if you have gloss, you don't wanna put any scratches in it. I'm gonna move everything out of the way, and I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth, and I'm gonna use some soapy water, uh, and I'm going to just lather it up. You wanna make sure that you don't put too much pressure on any spots where there would be bugs or anything like that. Um, I highly recommend you use a, a paper towel or something like that that has been soaked in soapy water. You would lay that over your visor so that and let it dry so that it would get all the bugs off without overly scrubbing. So one of the types of soap that I would recommend is something like Dawn dish soap. This is a household product. Um, if it's good on the ducks, it's good on my riding gear and it's gonna be the most gentle that I can recommend. So you just wanna go through, wring this out so you don't get too much water on the inside of your helmet. I like to close my visor. So now that I've scrubbed my helmet down, I'm just gonna set it off to the side to let it dry before I try to clean out the inside of it. 
Be mindful of the products you use on the insides because you don't want to ruin any of the safety materials that are inside. So for your cheek pads, as well as your headliner, what I would highly recommend is either soaking these, just putting them in some soapy water and letting them dry. You could either hand wash these or you could put them in your washing machine on a delicate cycle because of the plastic that are on them. You don't want to put them on a high cycle and then you'll want to let them hang dry. So don't put these in the dryer, uh, hang these up somewhere. I like to use um, some pants hangers, clip them up. That way they could just dry in the garage. Next, I'm gonna move on to my gloves. Very similar process. I like to just soak them in uh, some soapy water. So sometimes I would like to put the gloves on, put them in, kind of pretend like I'm washing my hands. And then again, uh, hang them up on a pan hanger so you can clip them up. Uh, these are hybrid glove or leather and mesh. So just be mindful of the products you use on the leather. Soapy water is a safe product. Uh, if you decide that you want to use any other uh, products, just read thoroughly and start on an inconspicuous area just in case there's an adverse effect on them. So I'm just going to throw these gloves on and I'm just going to pretend like I'm washing my hands as if I didn't have gloves on. You want to make sure you get water inside the gloves as well. And you'll pull them off, do the same thing, and then just bring them out and I'm going to lay them out to dry and you guys are set. All right. So now I'm going to clean the inside of my helmet. I'm going to slide these over. I'm going to bring my gloves back. I would recommend doing your helmet thoroughly before you start on anything else for the EPS in your helmet, the inner foam. Uh, you don't want to use anything like aerosols or anything like that. It might be too abrasive. The best thing that you could use is a mild soapy water solution. Thoroughly wring out this. You don't want to saturate the inside of the helmet. And then you're just going to thoroughly wipe it down. Make sure you get every surface that you can think of. Make sure you get that front mask area because that's where you're going to be breathing. All right, so now this is clean. We're gonna set it up to the side to dry. Keep in mind that this may take a little longer. You'll wanna open up all the vents that you have to make sure that it can dry thoroughly and make sure that you're not doing this right before you go riding because if you try to put everything back in while it's still damp, it, um, it could create some problems for you. So now we're all set. We've now cleaned and sanitized our motorcycle as well as our riding gear. You are able to Go riding with ease now, knowing that everything that you have is ready to go. All right, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe it. Share it to your friends. Uh, let the world know how you clean your products like we do. And we hope you have a rockin' Harley day.